Kebe! Hey guys, so um, I'm here with Bobcat and Gabby and you guys really enjoyed the Meet the Characters uh, video series um, and you've all been asking to know a little bit more about certain characters at the farm so we've decided to implement a new series called Meet the One and Only. It's called The One and Only and uh, we're going to be kicking off with this guy here. I think uh, you'll all agree with me that uh, when I talk about Bobcat for sure, there's a couple of boxes that are going to be ticked when I refer to him as the one and only. So um, we'll take Gabby out for a walk as well, uh, but we'll concentrate on Bobcat and we'll be explaining to you, the audience, why Bobcat is the one and only in quite a few categories. Hello, my boy. Oh, you are in top form. <laughs> top form. So as we know, Gabby, the last time I took her on a walk, hello big boy. <laughs> she decided that she was going to go on a tire biting spree. And she uh, mutilated three tires, which uh, I was not amused at. Anyway, she promises me this morning that she's going to behave. <laughs> Super excited. Super excited. Gabs, come. Mind your bum. Very sexy bum. At that. Coming up to the troublemakers. Uh, Bobcat really cannot stand the hyenas. <laughs> and I think the feeling is completely mutual. <laughs> Look at that face. Wow, he is relatively well behaved today. Normally he goes crazy. Hey boy! <laughs> and there they go, tormenting him. Wait. And go. Gabby! Yeah, so it wouldn't be a walk with Gabby uh, unless she tried to go for the tires. So at least Bobcat's having fun. All right, so this uh, is an enrichment walk for Bobcat, so we'll let him do what he wants to do. Um, but what I will be doing is uh, explaining why Bobcat is the one and only and um, as he gets up and starts to move then we'll start to get on to the features that make Bobcat so special. So that is actually something I wanted to talk about is Bobcat's attentiveness and uh, his absolute uh, disdain for hearing other lions. This is... This is one of the most proud cats you will ever come across. Old Bobcat and he... Chat! <laughs> and it wouldn't be a walk. It wouldn't be a walk without me screaming at Gabby. Uh, but as I was saying, Bobcat is one of the proudest cats I know. Um, he has an absolute dislike for other male lions. And um, that is one of the key features of him. If he hears another lion and he thinks for one moment that that lion is in his territory, you can just see that scowl on his face. He pulls us tight. He pulls his lips tight and he, his eyes, not they didn't do it there, but his eyes sometimes pull very tight as well. So they get all slitty and you can see he, 
the thinking in his head going, uh, you can see him thinking in his head, where is this line and what, what right and how dare it come uh, in my territory? Looking at that white vehicle is prey, the tires, gabs. But Gabby, this is not about you, sweetie. This is about Bobcat. I'm just going to warn George. George, just be warned, uh, Gabs, uh, looking at you and uh, thinking about coming towards the vehicle. Okay, copy that. I'll be on the lookout for her. She hasn't learned her lesson. Listen to that. So I don't know if you can hear that, uh, it's quite loud. Um, it's almost the lion equivalent of a purr. Lions don't um, purr like cheetah, but that sound that he's making now is a sign of a content cat. It's a content sound. It's like, <laughs> so that's not growling or, or anything like that. Okay, so, um, Bobcat. Oh, hello big boy. So that, that is something unique to Bobcat, this kind of behavior. This lion exudes confidence, seriously exudes confidence. This lion walks tall. This lion walks proud. Look at that black mane. This is what we are talking about. Even now at 13 or so years of age, he's still got very dark black markings on the uh, back side of his legs. That is a sign of a lion in its prime. So even though Bobcat is way past 10 now, um, I would say he's probably the equivalent of a wild lion that's probably in the region between seven to eight years of age. Um, so certainly life in a captive environment has treated bobcat very well uh, because yeah he certainly has had the best nutrition and he's had a, a full well-rounded life as gabby starts to cause trouble george what i suggest is this you go out and then when i need you i'll call you and then you can come back okay copy that I think you're trying to steal the limelight, you know that, Gabby. You're naughty. You know you're naughty. Gabs. Bobcat, the one and only, the epitome of how a lion should be. And I'm sure many people who have uh, followed Bobcat uh, over the years will agree that Bobcat is definitely the epitome of a uh, hot-blooded male line. So there's many other lions, guys, in the sanctuary who are black-maned. I can rattle off a few names. Uh, Suja, Bongani, uh, we could even have uh, a lion like Icarus. These are all black-maned lions. Um, even good old George has, has quite an quite a, uh, impressive black mane. But no one has a mane quite like Bobcat. So Bobcat, I would say, sports the one and only black mane, the, the again, the epitome of a, a mane in a lion. <laughs> Hello, my boy. Hello, my boy. Bobcat is the one and only lion in the sanctuary, and George is a close second who talks. Um, all the other lions do talk from time to time, not like Bobcat. Bobcat is a talker. He, is, he always has been a talker, although he doesn't even hold a candle to his late brother. His late brother, um, Bandit, yo, that lion you can hear a mile away talking. 
and it says, oh, 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 and he just continually talks and talks and talks. Um, so Bandit was like that. Bobcat is a very close second. A very, very vocal lion. So, uh, ooh, what has he seen? A very, very vocal lion. And uh, it's, it's a really wonderful thing to hear uh, his excitement for when a friend comes to visit. Uh, he will let you know where you stand, this lion. There's no pretending with Bobcat. L let me just say, Bobcat, another uh, special attribute is he does not suffer fools gladly. He does not tolerate people who he doesn't like in his um, space, his personal space. <coughs> Telling them off. <coughs> 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 So he doesn't care that there's six lines in there. So what's quite interesting is that it's almost as though uh, Thor and Charlie have a kind of like a reverence for, for him. They haven't uh, challenged him back and they haven't vocalized back, which says, speaks volumes actually, because the other day, when I was walking Siam, um, that's actually, that line in the background there is Gandalf, who's also a fiery tempered lion. He's got a short fuse, especially when it comes to other male lions. So, and his girls are also roaring. But what's interesting is that none of these six are roaring, but Bobcat's roaring. Loving. So, we want to talk about a loving animal. Um, so, obviously, I have a very uh, close bond with Bobcat, and uh, the amount of brotherly love that Bobcat shows for me is incredible. So, it's probably the last thing I want to uh, talk about when I talk about uh, this lion and uh, uh, what makes him the one and only. He truly is the one and only lion in the sanctuary that will come up to greet me every single time I come to the sanctuary. I don't think in his entire life, I don't think Bobcat has not come up to greet me. And if he doesn't, I know for a fact that there's something wrong. So either Bobcat's sick um, or, you know, he's, he's got something that he's eating or there's something not, uh, untoward or there, there's something that's not the norm. Because uh, Bobcat and Gabby will always get up and come running to the fence, no matter what time of the day, no matter, um, yeah, no matter if I visited them, that day before or not, every time, and he's waiting for dad, every time, it's like it's the first time he's seen me for the day. I love that about him. He always waits for me. What a special cat. So when you talk about a, a special bond, um, I, ca I, ca I can't explain um, how, how special the bond is with old Bobcat. All right, guys, so that's it for Meet the One and Only Bobcat. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. So, guys, thanks for watching, and until next time here on Lion Whisperer TV, bye.